uh, in studio, we've got the number two funniest man in the country. <laughs> number one, Kimar. <laughs> we're going we're gonna to ask him. Oh. oh. Uh, he's got the second biggest podcast in the country. <laughs> Shots fired. <laughs> Two shots. <laughs> Two, that's the second shot fired. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, it's some pop up. Now We're starting with a bang, baby. Talking about bringing in heavyweights for a Friday. Huh? An award-winning comedian, actor, presenter. Welcome, Paul Pops. <laughs> we are in the presence yeah. of greatness. Opali Shopping Matsoho Aluna Digitally. Make some noise. Hey. Give it up hey. for the one and only. Papo. Papo. We identify as... Ah. Our pronouns are L O L L M F A O. Let's go! Another big interview with Anele and the Club. Only on 947. This man has got a huge show tomorrow at Emperor's Palace. Emperor's Palace, ne? Yes. The entire empire said. Here's the palace. Here's the palace. Here's the palace. The center of the court. Umpa <laughs> Pops is in studio, and I've never seen anyone who's not smiling around you. Whether laughing at you, you oh, know, or know. with you, you're just that person. You walk in, and the room just lights up. Well, you know, as the second funniest guy. <laughs> <laughs> so this is the thing. Who do you think the funniest person is? The funniest person is not in the country right now. So I'm currently holding the number one <laughs> position. I'm the deputy. <laughs> when he comes back, I'm always like, ah. Oh, oh. Then I'm like, oh, yeah. But and then I console myself. I'm like, oh, he's just on holiday. <laughs> How long are you back for? <laughs> he's going to leave. He's going to leave. He's going to leave. And then um, I'm not joking when I say you've got the second biggest podcast in the country. Don't you? Uh, Did, didn't those stats come out? The popcorns and the cheese. Yes. Apparently, Mac G's the, is the most listened to. And then yours is number two. I didn't know these stats, but you'll take it. I'll take it. <laughs> Thank you to the cheese gang out there. Keep listening Aww. every Wednesday, 3 p.m. <laughs> then I Plug it. That's what I heard in passing. Maybe, uh, maybe it was just somebody who likes you, but that's what I heard. Oh, that's amazing news. You know, we, we do these things and you, you never expect to, yeah. to, to, to reach some sort of accolade, right? You, I don't do it. <laughs> this is the classic. I don't do it for the awards. <laughs> <laughs> <No>. And <laughs> cue. <laughs> <laughs> but when you hear stuff like that, you're like, oh, wow, okay. Ex exactly, because it just shows that, do you know what I like? When you can do something that is not your primary thing and mm -hmm. it also works out. Because your primary thing is being on stage. Yes. You're a comedian. Yes. You get on stage, you grab a mic, you make us laugh. Yes. And you fill out rooms across you know, the country and now pushing to the continent. But when you can do a podcast and it's also enjoyed... Yes. Surely that 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 means that it is your personality that we're gravitating towards, and yes. not necessarily your talent. Yes, right. That's true. Yes. Okay. yes. Okay. Now, now, tell me, do you ever feel like there's a differentiator between who you are on stage and who you are as Mbo at home? Oh, there's definitely. Okay. Definitely, definitely. Um, I think for me on stage is it's it's where I truly come alive, oh. right? Uh, because there's a certain honesty you have on stage. And you can hide behind the jokes. Oh. And often, when something is so funny, it's because it's so it's true. It's so true. Oh, right? So there's a certain honesty you can have on stage. And back home, oh man, I'm going to be honest. I live with two haters. You know? <laughs> <laughs> this is your wife and your daughter. Yes. They don't think you're funny no, at all, by no. the way. Like, I've never seen two people roll their eyes so much, guys. The, the, I'm telling you, Amani rolled her eyes the, so hard. She saw last week the other time. <laughs> she literally doesn't think her dad's funny at all. And then, and then, and then every time she comes on to Mars Singer, she says, Yeah, Aunt Anele. I say, Yes, like, so, Mpa again. <laughs> Ouch. Yeah, she's like, so we can't find another host. I'm like, yeah, it's, it's rough out there. <sighs> okay. In my end, I like it. I'm cutting for my job. Yes. Oh, that's the plan. Yeah. yeah. I like it told me proper the last time. It's like, enjoy it. Another eight more years. <laughs> <laughs> and then I'm coming in. I'm coming in. Listen, we are on the search for the base wings. Ooh. In Johannesburg. You Ooh. are a comedian. You have been to the grabbiest of pubs, right? Yes. And the dirtier the pub, the better the wings. Yes. So I want to know, like for you, if you had to leave right now, you're leaving 947 and you're going, you drive your car in the direction of the best wings in the city, where are we going? Yo, this is such a tricky one, guys. This is such give a tricky one. Give me three. Okay. Let me and give and you it three. can be big establishments and small establishments. Okay, let me give you three, right? 
So the first, first and foremost, um, let's not mess with the winning formula. Chicken licking. There we go. Okay. Right? Yeah. yeah. Let's a call it what it is. A chicken licking wing feels like home. Mm. A chicken licking wing heals you during a heartbreak. Mm -hmm. A chicken licking wing heals you during a hangover. Mm -hmm. A, chi a chicken licking wing is nice month end or, or during the month. <laughs> then we have, here's, here's where it's going to get a little tricky. Mm. Doppio Zero has amazing wings. Oh, really? yeah. Doppio Zero has amazing Everyone wings. Everyone in the studio just looked up and said, mm, okay, okay, yes. okay. Any are Doppio they, specifically? Are they, uh, are they crispy? Are they sticky? Are they okay? sticky? Okay, sticky. Sticky, sticky wings. Okay. And then last night, I was at a place in Bryanston called the Taste Hub. Okay. And I had these wings. They didn't look like wings. They looked like amaguinha with bones in them. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know how. So amaguinha on crutches. Yes. Amaguinha <laughs> 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 on crutches. <laughs> you know when you prejudge something, I was like, there's, there's too much happening with this wing. And I remember I was with Titi last night and Titi was like, bro, you have to try these wings. And I was like, they, they look too much. And I had them. And I promise you, of my list of three, they are the top. It, it felt like someone dipped them in Coca-Cola. Oh. And then, uh -huh. yeah, they... Best thing, Taste Hub in Bryanston. All right. I will, I will put that as the number one wing for me right now. He's on stage tomorrow at Empress Palace. You said Center Court, right? Yes. Center Court, you there. Can we still buy tickets? Yes. Tickets Wait. are available at CompuTicket. Uh, and also at Empress Palace. And so I can just rock up there and yeah, buy them yeah, as well. Yeah. Okay, wonderful. When we come back, he's also helping you out with the sound of the city. I oh. figured that out quick. Yeah, Serious. He's quick. got it. He's got it. I if got you it, want bro. to get yourself a little bit of help in cracking that sound of the city with our insurance, and pause all over it. He even he even went on a post parade. <laughs> like he went, he, he went around asking people to do what is the sound yes. and they have cracked it. On the way, we'll find out what he thinks the sound is. We gave you the sound and said, friend, help us out. We don't mm -hmm. know what the sound is. I took to the streets. Uh -huh. I found some people. Uh. And uh, look, their guesses were great, but... They didn't quite figure it out like I did. Oh, you figured it out? I figured it out. Okay, let's hear what the people had to say and then we'll wrap it up with you. Mm -hmm. You tell us. Yo, brother, so I'm going to play your sound. You just tell me what it is. It sounds like a ball is like going down the stairs. A ball going down the stairs? Yeah. Bruh, what does it sound like? That sounds like a flat tire. Huh? I can tell you've never had a car run. <laughs> <laughs> It sounds like um, every part of uh, Sangoma. Sangoma things. So when it, Sangoma's transitioning <laughs> from human <laughs> spirit. Hey! <laughs> Your aunt doesn't like you. <laughs> <laughs> it is hey. She okay. sent me. <laughs> they all wrong. What's your guess? So the first time I heard the sound, I was like, this sounds like hunger. Then I heard... Nah, nah, nah. You know when you haven't eaten yeah. the while go, 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 go. Then I was like, no, man, I must listen closer. I know the sound. Remember when Survivor used to start? They used to have that. You're right. Yes. Be before it starts, before Jeff comes up. Oh, yeah. and... So what is that? It's tribal council. <laughs> <laughs> The tribe has spoken. The tribe has spoken. Uh, I'm going to say no. <laughs> <laughs> You're wrong. <laughs> but <it's> certainly entertaining. <laughs> and then, and then, the, and then that eagle will come and go, Yay! I don't know. <laughs> You're wrong, but thank you for this moment. <laughs> thank you for this moment. <laughs> Keeping up with the social commentary, I'm going to run you through a few things that happened in the past week, Kumpo, and you just let us know how you're feeling about it. Yes, yes, yes. Here's yes. the first one. Wait, we don't have Tabo Besta saying that uh, he's... Okay, uh, Tabo Besta in court, standing up, wearing the... Uh, wearing what the you're wearing right now. I'm just. wearing... And is wearing the same colors as Tabo <laughs> Besta. Same just, same top. I walked in, he says to me, is this your I'm innocent jacket? <laughs> a death sentence be given as a petition, that the public signs a petition and I be given a death sentence and immediately I will agree to it. So we end this matter. Are you done? Yes. <laughs> you done? That was the judge. He's like, this is the third time you've said lastly. 
<laughs> Imagine after saying to someone, please kill me. They're like, are you done? <laughs> Imagine after, after asking, these people had nothing to do with it. It's me and I'm not allowed to wear my Louis Vuitton. Kill me. Are, are you, you done? done? <laughs> That's such a parent thing. You're like throwing a tantrum. Yes. Like, are you done? <laughs> are you finished? Judge was such a dad. <laughs> Okay, Tabo, are you done? <laughs> are you finished? <laughs> All right, and then Rihanna has launched a new hair care brand. Mm -hmm. I wanted to create a lineup of products that were easy to use. I also needed products that could keep up with me and fit into my lifestyle, which we all know is crazy. But she's wearing a wig in the advert. No way. Yes. What is the new hairline called? Muriri. That's what I was going to say! <laughs> It's a no-brainer. No, she didn't call it that. How oh, so now Riri. everyone is upset with her. And she was wearing a wig. She was wearing two things. She didn't call it Muriri, and she's wearing a wig. <laughs> maybe, maybe when it drops, the unveiling is gonna be her taking off the wig. And then we see her. Then real we hair. see her blonde cornrows. <laughs> 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 For when times are tough, Muriri. <laughs> That blonde, blonde, when you dye your hair blonde, it means you're going through a breakup. Yeah, and if you see any of your friends, if you, if you see anyone with blonde hair, mm. that's a breakup. Yeah. If you see blonde, breakup. Die. First thing, cut and die. And then change of location, breakup. <laughs> what do you mean change of location? All of a sudden, if we see Frankie in Kwakwa, ah, you must know, <laughs> breakup. He's gone to <laughs> Yes. <laughs> Once he's on a radio, community radio station in Kwakwa. <laughs> Tough time. He's going to regroup. Okay, finally, uh, Minister of Sports, Arts and Culture, Zizi Kwadwa, who was also sporting a Tabo Basta jacket, he resigned this week. Zizi Kwadwa has resigned today, about an hour after appearing in the specialised commercial crimes court. Kwadwa was arrested on charges of corruption, along with former EOH boss, Jaham McKay. Well, I mean, first things first, they came dressed the same. I, I pictured them at the same court doing that Spider-Man thing where they pointed each other. Hey, hey, hey! <laughs> Makams! Yeah, Makams! Yeah! <laughs> Birds of a feather. <laughs> and then Tabo going, I wish I had the glasses <laughs> just to complete the look, you know? <laughs> but how shiny was Zizi in court, though? Dude! All the Vaseline. You can tell it's winter when we start, <laughs> when we start applying two coats yes. of Vaseline. Yes. People are like, is he sweating? No, that's two layers of Vaseline. <laughs> Warmth. He needed the warmth because you heard Tabo saying, I can't feel my feet right now. <laughs> <laughs> you deflect the cold with Vaseline. <laughs> yeah. That's it. It's yeah, a protective it's, layer. Yeah, and also it's almost like because now you're resigning, you're not going to be part of the gravy train anymore. So you're stocking up your last layers of Vaseline. Because you know how you know you broke when you go ashy. Yes. <laughs> like the first thing to go. Yes. Like, don't, <laughs> don't let them see. Don't let them see. Faggy Vaseline. Don't let them see. <laughs> But even my, my mom, she used to accept everything except me being ashy. Like, ah. Yeah, you, you're disappointing the household. If you come home grey, because people are going to be like, you know, people know you are a child of this house. <laughs> you are Mbashile, you are grey. <laughs> Next day, two layers. You can be down and out, but please... I know, Never but, be ashy. Yeah, but I know. Uh, yeah, resigned. Yeah. Resigned, uh, air quotes. Shame, but didn't he just arrive? I know. I just arrived. Yeah. I just arrived. I just he arrived. But he just arrived. I just in arrived. In this portfolio. <laughs> and now? Now, now is, that's what he's going to be saying. When the prisoners are like, yeah, wash the colosh. I, I've just arrived. <laughs> <laughs> I've, I've just... <laughs> And on that note, it is time for us to leave. Thank you so much, Mpo Pops. If you want to laugh like this, okay? If you want to laugh like this, make sure you're grabbing those tickets there on Compute Ticket tomorrow, Emperor's Palace. Uh, head on over down there. Let, let's, I, you know, I, I know I tease him when I say he's the second or the third funniest person in the country, but if I'm being honest, Mpo, my friend, number one, you're right up there. And you're consistent. And Thank you, you, so you much, just, man. yeah, Thank you, you're it. You're it. And then on top of that, you're a nice guy. Uh, You're just a nice guy. And he's guy. a car guy. And he's a car guy. I'm a car guy. Yeah. And tomorrow he'll be on stage at Emperor's Palace whilst on TV. He's on TV on SABC3 Mamela. as the mass singer host. I mean, Simultaneously. Simul Simulcast. <laughs> on 947. Two layers of Vaseline. <laughs> <laughs> he's on Pop Pops. Anele and the club. On 947.